The Moberly School District had to cancel its homecoming dance Saturday after a threat was made. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Marissa Holloway. ABC 17's Erica McGuire joins us live from Moberly tonight. And Erica, the suspect is a juvenile. Marissa. The Moberly Police Department tells me that the issue was resolved Saturday morning when that juvenile was taken into custody. Now, when it comes to homecoming, students usually make their plans in advance, but that last minute cancellation not only affected the school, but businesses. It wasn't even five minutes after she left the salon and they had sent out an email that they canceled it and, you know, she was heartbroken. Homecoming, a high school tradition that students look forward to every year. That all ended when students and parents received a surprise email from the Moberly School District at 1030 Saturday morning saying the dance was canceled due to a threat. In the letter from school superintendent Dustin Fanning, it said, quote, we understand that this is a disappointment for kids and families as they prepared for this annual tradition for weeks, but refuse to compromise the safety of students and staff. Our district is committed to taking incidences like these seriously, end quote. Joe Sly is a hairstylist at Sheer Attractions in Moberly. She tells me she had four appointments that day, but normally doesn't work Saturdays. It's a soccer game, so I could be here to do homecoming hair and makeup for some girls. Homecoming is also a busy time of year for flower shops. Velvet Brandstetter, owner of Not As It Seems, tells me she had 30 to 40 orders of corsages, and some people already came that morning to pick theirs up. Do it, and we'll stay as long as we have to stay to get it done. Now, the district also sent a letter to students and parents yesterday, letting them know that the threat was secured and no longer concerned. And school did resume as normal today. The district has rescheduled the, da the dance for this Saturday. For now, reporting live in Moberly, Erica McGuire, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Erica. We reached out to get more details regarding the threat, but the school and the district told us they will not comment at this time.